Good morning. Today's power scripture comes from Psalm 121, the fourth verse. I'm reading from the Amplified Version. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. There are times when we have secret, special thoughts that we cannot share with anyone. It isn't that we have some sordid, ungodly thing running through our head, but simply there are ideas, thoughts, and desires that we can only share with the one who is the most intimate with us. We can only share these desires, hopes, ambitions, anxieties, uncertainties, and frustrations with our Creator God. David spoke about times when he drenched his pillow at night with tears as he languished before God about his life and ordeals. Scripture reminds us of how God collects our very tears in bottles and knows the amount of every sorrowful wail. We have a brother, a savior, and good shepherd in Christ who is always caring for us. We have a wonderful advocate and comforter in the Holy Spirit who guides us and provides conscious clarity to life's little nuances. We have a Father, a Lord and Master who created us in His image. God longs to have an intimate relationship with you. He wants you to spend quality time with Him nurturing that relationship. Morning prayers at the breakfast table, they're good. Lunchtime and dinner grace are special. Prayer meetings, Bible studies, sermons, and messages on CD all help to teach, inspire, and encourage. But nothing, absolutely nothing, substitutes for an old-fashioned conversation with the God of the universe who knows all about you, your trials, tribulations, and potential testimonies. There is no need for pretense or cover-up. You don't have to be politically correct, speak in complete sentences, or even know what to say. The Holy Spirit will go before God and represent your ideas when you just cannot speak up for yourself. Take some time to speak to God in a quiet place. When you retreat to your prayer closet, wherever or whenever it is, Isolate all distractions. Do not turn on the television. Mute your phone and just wallow in the love of God who cares for you deeply. It might seem a bit uncomfortable at first. Your mind might wander a bit, but the more you meditate and focus on God, the more you, more you pour your heart out to Him, the more you will yearn for even more time to spend together. Today, Share some pillow talk time with God. He already knows who, what, when, where, and how. But share with Him the desires of your heart, the frustrations of the day, your dreams for tomorrow. Watch as you develop greater clarity and insights into plans and purposes for your life. Every day is a good day. It's up to us to make it a power-packed great day. Be blessed, Dr. Joanne.